This is most early Kyoso radio control. Lamborghini can't touch. And uh, you cannot believe how rough the body and the chassis. It got many different body, I remember. Porsche, Lamborghini, and uh, many, many others. You can see the chassis. Suspension is leaf spring, leaf spring suspension. And the rear is quite interesting with a link, spring with a link. This is uh, like a modern, modern car, rear axle. The only good things, the small motor, mechanical speed control, and the differential. The only nice is with differential. To me, I remember it is optional or this of a second generation, they got differential. The first Tamiya, 10 scale, 12 scale, do not have any differential. Six volt battery. Aluminium chassis, but the chassis is not strong enough. The most agree things is about the body. You cannot imagine how rough the body compared to Tamiya realistic crust body or Lexan body on Fujimi or Nichimo. I like a Countach very much. It is one of my dream car when I'm young. In 70s and 80s, Countach is really a supercar. And sure, now I got both two scale and a one scale Countach. The problem is this body is really, really unbelievable rough and ugly looking. It is a Lexan body, but the, the, all the shape angle, all are wrong. But the Kioso later also improved a lot for the racing car. Leaf spring suspension. And uh, if you go to see the Tamiya, the body, it is so nice. The black one is not the Tamiya. These are their competitor, built by radio control maker, you can see. And the Tamiya, the body, are so nice. My friend gave me this one because he know I lose, I broken the body. But because it is rare, I never assemble it. If you compare Tamiya body, for sure, they are not the same class. Oh, nice. And then you can see the Kyoso. Everything are wrong. Angle wrong, wheel arch are wrong, size wrong, scale wrong. It is quite interesting for you to see some history radio control RC key. Thank you for watching.